Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for what is their true feelings for you. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. As you guys can see, there's multiple decks here, okay? Multiple decks that we're gonna be using today. And so we're gonna first look at their feelings, the blockages, the the overall outcome. And I'm also gonna do a couple of other things here to get more information. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so how does Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Capricorn's love interest feel about Capricorns romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see the Two of Swords energy, the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, wow, okay, Seven of Cups, okay, Hangman, Five of Wands, High Priestess, Seven of Wands, okay, the blockage is worry, anxiety, sleepless nights, stressing out about thoughts, Really, this person seems a little bit uh, dazed about what the heck, what happened? Something must have happened with you guys because it's like a lot of stress around this. It's like someone's hiding something, keeping something here. Okay, and because they're like scared about finding somebody finding out. Okay, so nines also talk about desires and interesting that that chariot card is the overall energy. Desire, that's what chariot card is, desire to speak a truth mm -hmm. about happiness or joyful energy. All right, see, as I said, there is something there beneath the surface. Let's get to the bottom of it. Before we go any further, let's get a little bit more information about the connection. So what's going on with my Capricorns? Love connection. What's going on with this connection? What do I need to know? What does Capricorn need to know about the situation that they don't know that could help them? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. So there's a conscious effort. There's definitely some conscious effort where someone's really conscious of their energy and trying to be comfortable. Okay, so there is some issues right now. Someone's not feeling very comfortable in their energy and they wanna bring something to light. There is some air of mystery here because it's something to do with the past, okay. There's some desires to have faith in the situation, but there's concerns about some kind of rejection. So they're trying to keep it in balance and they're, they're trying to be cautious, but they're frustrated about how things are coming together in love, okay? They're trying to distance themselves, space themselves from this situation. They wanna use their intuition. They're trying to trust that they can just go with the flow. All right, let's get more information here, Capricorn. So we start out with the Two of Swords energy and it says that there are some indecisions. So I definitely feel like this person's kind of like, I don't even know what to do. Like you kind of like, you know, this, these, these swords are a bit stuck in the ground. So it's like, almost like I feel like stuck in the mud. Okay, so they're stuck in the mud and they have these indecisions and the, they don't know what to do. So let's get information about what this is about. How does Capricorn's love interest, the one you're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Capricorn's love interest feel about Capricorn romantically? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see, okay? So the indecision seems to be about going out, celebrations. This is like the restaurant card. <laughs> I feel like it's like the hanging out, the restaurant card, the conference card. It's like being around other people and just having a good time. So there's indecisions there. Okay, why? We have the Queen of Cups. They want love and devotion. And a new beginning and a fresh start. And they feel like they want, they feel like you're a very stable connection. King of Pentacles. They also feel like they're trying to use their intuition about this. So they have concerns about going out to this celebration, this wedding, this uh, conference. They have concerns about it. They're indecisive about it. 
uh, because of love and devotion and a new beginning, fresh start, or something to do with a child. And they're trying to use their intuition because they're trying to make the best decision based on the long term uh, and a stable situation, a stable commitment. They're a king of pentacles energy. They want something stable here. Okay. How does Capricorn's love interest, the one that's before, the one they want to know about, how does Capricorn's love interest feel about Capricorns romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What's up? Okay, so they're indecisive because it's a celebration, this conference, this meeting they gotta go to, this restaurant, this this place they gotta go to where they gotta hang out with some other people here. And it's like shocking to them, surprising to them. They're they're wanting some kind of breakthrough around that. Because they they want a fresh start, new opportunity, they want love and devotion, and they want a happy outcome. Okay. They're trying to be nurturing and supportive. Okay, so it looks like Capricorn, you gotta do something and uh, your person's at a crossroads about you doing it, but they're still trying to be supportive about it. Okay, so it looks like your person, Capricorn, feels like, yeah, there's love here with the Page of Cups energy. They want good news and love, but they are confused, Seven of Cups energy, about what's going on with the situation and why it seems like it's stuck. Hangman energy. Okay, so your person, that's a person card. Could be you, could be the love interest. Is confused why they're not getting to spend more intimate time with you. And uh, they keep thinking about this. It's in their thoughts and they're stuck. Okay, so your person's like, all right, I want to, you know, I want loving messages. I want potential for love. I want good news and love. Why am I so confused about this time that we're spending together? And I keep thinking about this stuck energy, this stagnation, or trying to see it from a, your perspective, a new perspective. So there's an era of mystery for them that's causing them stress. And they feel like I need to make the best decision, wisdom card. Apparently this is causing some arguments and fights with this person, five of wands energy. But they're trying to stay hopeful about this situation. They wanna keep this hidden from you. They wanna keep it to themselves with the high priestess card energy but they're in despair about it, okay? And uh, it looks like they wanna fight for their position on this. They feel like they have the higher ground here with the Seven of Wands energy. But they're a little bit complacent or they feel like you're a little bit complacent about it. So they wanna assert their power and their control to try to heal the situation. They are concerned if they do this, they're gonna have regrets about it. Mm. So it looks like you gotta go do something, Capricorn. You gotta go somewhere, you gotta go to a conference, you gotta go to some kind of meeting, you have to do something at a restaurant. Um, and your person's very shocked and surprised about this and indecisive about it, okay? And it looks like you know they know that they, they want a positive outcome. Their concerns is that there's gonna be issues around love and devotion to this new situation or a new opportunity. And so they're trying to make the best decision on the basis of stability, stableness, long-term, okay? And, and trying to be supportive, nurturing and supportive. So they're trying to gain knowledge about some kind of potential love you have possibly, or um, you know, if there is love here. So they're trying to gain knowledge about that. They feel like there's love here, but they are a little bit confused about why you haven't been spending as much time with them, okay? With that card, and it's causing them stress. And they feel a little bit stuck in their thoughts about that. Okay, so they want to argue and fight with you, but they're trying to be hopeful if they gain some kind of control in their despair that they can have the higher ground to win the situation. Okay, so let's now see. The Nine of Swords is here, the House card, and the Safe card. So there is very much a lot of worry with this person. Okay, so we were looking at their feelings and now you're seeing what's the blockage here? This defensive energy with them. They're cautious and defensive about this worry about this house, the stability, the stableness, the house and family card, the st stability card. So they're really concerned about the stability of the connection. They may feel like you're spending a lot of time socializing also, because that card can also represent socializing. And so they're concerned that you're going to find some new opportunity there. Okay, so they're very cautious and very afraid of that. Okay, so let's get more information here, Capricorn. Okay, let's go to my Capricorn's love connection. 
Let me have a little bit more information of, of what Capricorn needs to know about the situation, please. Show my cards need to see. Thank you. So we see timing is a factor here and that there's a lot of thinking contemplating about other people and that there needs to be more of a focus on the here and now. Um, we see that there's concerns about somebody walking away, but there can be some potential for peace here if there's some, you pay attention to the signs, things can be healed and it can be a potential for a happy outcome. Things can be cleared up within time if uh, you listen to your intuition. There can be a victory here, but there needs to be this stop of this person. It seems like you or this other person's like asking why, why, why. Um, and it's like a, a why being left out in the cold. Why am I having a sense of love? Why am I getting time with you? And there's going to be a change happening here, but it's going to have to be done by the book. And there's going to be potential for flexibility. Okay. Let's find out what the heck that's about. And let's see the, the likely outcome. Okay, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay, so it looks like you or the other person may decide to walk away, okay, uh, because of friendship, celebration, hanging out, celebration. And it could be rather sudden with the Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, there's the joyful energy, someone who is being trying to be of service, but then, you know, uh, there's like a falseness or deceptions or fickle energy about it. We see new love, money, finance, hopeful. Okay, so it looks like you guys that feel like it's you, Capricorn. It looks like you may walk away from this connection because of new love, Ace of Cups energy. It looks like there's something of potential value. Uh, could be somebody who could be a friend, Three of Cups energy. Um, and it looks like this person's really going to be there for you, romantic. And it looks like there's a positive outcome because this other situation looks like it's going to be uh, cut away or cut out. Uh, it looks like a, a sudden action will be taken because of some kind of falseness in the connection. Someone feels like there's lying and deception and falseness, maybe possibly even a third party with the Three of Cups energy. Okay. Or there may be a lack of value. Okay. So it looks like new love's coming in though. Okay. However, I could see this from another way as well. It looks like also for some of you, somebody may think about walking away physically or mentally, but then because of love and the joyfulness of the connection, say, okay, well, let's just be more than just friends or just be friends here. And we see there's some kind of value in this connection and really like helping you out and like being there for you. And it brings a lot of hopefulness to the connection. And then a lot of the falseness or the deception is cut away or cut out. But let's go down the layer just to see. Okay, so there is a concern about being used and someone's going to try to make a power move towards a commitment gauge or marriage. There's going to be a lot of internal work and thinking about the sense of loss because of this defeated energy. Yeah, we see another person. Reconciliation, hard to conversations. Okay, yes, there is definitely going to be a situation that's going to come up with new love, okay? And then it looks like an, uh, the ex partner, this person looks like they're going to come back and try to reconcile and have hard to conversations, which could be very hopeful. But there's still going to be a little bit of a defeated energy here and a little bit of falseness, or someone's concerned about someone lying about a commitment, engage your marriage, and being a bit defeated about it. So I would say there's still some things yet to be decided, but yes, there's going to be a new situation that's going to come in, and then it look, looks like there's going to be somebody that the other person or you is going to walk away from that and possibly go for the new situation, and then it looks like it's gonna come back together as a reconciliation and heart-to-heart conversations, which could be hopeful, but then we see that there's still a little bit of a cliffhanger there with that situation. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.